Because our students come to Lake Washington Tech from a wide variety of work and academic experiences, we have created a math pathway to help you get from where you are to where you need to be to earn your degree or credential. Different students will enter at different levels, and that's okay. Some factors that should influence where you start on this pathway include previous math classes you've taken, the amount of time that's gone by since you've used some of these skills, as well as your own confidence in your math abilities. In trying to decide where you will best fit on this math pathway, it's good to look ahead to where you want to be. If you know what program you're interested in pursuing, look at what 100 level math requirements are listed. The main pathway that our science, technology, engineering, and math students take starts at Math 141, Precalculus. This course covers the topics of polynomial, rational, exponential, and logarithmic functions. Your Math 141 course will prepare you for a second quarter pre-calculus class, which focuses on trigonometry, and eventually will lead to the entire calculus series. The courses making up this pathway are common in community college and university curriculums and easily transferable. If you are planning a business degree, you may want or need to take Math 145, Finite Mathematics for Business. This course will build on the foundation set in your algebra classes with a focus on functions which are useful for business calculations and predictions. Finite math also includes introductions to matrices, logic, statistics, and probability, specifically using examples from finance and economics applications. The Math 145 course is a prerequisite for Math 148, our business calculus class. If you are pursuing a degree in engineering graphics, or you just want a math class to better prepare you for physics, you may be interested in taking Math 111, College Algebra with Applications. This course will build on algebra skills and introduce vectors and trigonometry as a basis for industrial and practical applications. Keep in mind that Math 111 is not required for pre-calculus and will not meet any of the pre-calculus um, requirements and prerequisites that you would need to take calculus. If you plan to take calculus, you should take Math 141 instead. Each of these classes will require using skills that you've learned in earlier algebra courses, including understanding how to use formulas and account for units of measurement, being comfortable with working with proportions or percentages, correctly simplifying variable expressions, including those with exponents, a basic understanding of functions and how to graph them, and of course being able to solve a wide variety of equations of various types, including linear, quadratic, rational, radical, and exponential equations. A few of our other 100 level courses may also appear to be in your program plan or can be used as electives. These courses are not as algebra intensive, so completing either our Math 98 course or our Math 99x course would meet the prerequisites for these classes. One common 100 level math program requirement is Math 146 statistics. In this course, you will learn how to use proper methods for collecting data. You'll cal calculate probabilities and look at different ways to analyze sample data, including how to use your samples to answer questions and make predictions about large groups. Some programs require Math 107, Math and Society, I like to call this the Good Citizens Math class. You will look at a wide variety of applications where you will see math in the real world, including finances, population growth, and some basic statistics.